Today I'm doing an oil change on the old uh, 80 series. I'm just gonna go through everything I'm using here and uh, how quick and simple this is to do than so something you can do at home. So I'll go through it now, flip the camera around here and uh, show you everything I'm using. So this is a 16 litre oil drain pan because the vehicle takes 9.3 litres. Couple of cans of degreaser for cleaning up afterwards. Now I'm using HPR 15 Semi-Sin 1550. I do have a little bit left in the old container, but I'm gonna put the old oil in that. Then I can dispose of it. Um, I'm using a man filter this time rather than the Ryko one that I used last time, just because I can get them relatively cheaply. Uh, these are new sump plug, uh, or sump plug or drain plug washers. They're a uh, fiber metal crush washer. Um, over here, 14 mil socket, just on a 3.8 ratchet to undo the drain plug. <coughs> Have my filter removal tool because on the diesels it gets pretty tight. So I use the strap style just because it suits all different sizes. Got some spanners just in case. And uh, just a funnel to chuck on top of the engine while I'm pouring out of one of these things. So, and of course some rags because it's gonna get dirty. So, pretty simple. I'll go under the car, show you what I'm doing, and uh, we'll go from there. Under here. So past the front axle, there's your drain plug on the 1HZ. Your 1HDT will be in the same spot. Um, so yeah, with that, obviously drain that, let it run out. Uh, which I'll show you. Let it drain for a little bit until no more oil's dripping from it. Work a new uh, sun plug washer in, or drain plug, depending where you're from. Um, put it back together, top right with oil. Um, and then what I'll be doing, I'll be changing the filter afterwards, because that's gonna run down the side of the motor. Um, probably from back around this area, if you can see up there, Maybe you'll kind of see uh, the oil filter, which is there. So that's all going to run down the side of the block, make a nice mess. So I'll clean that up and I'll run all that oil and stuff into the uh, into the drain pan, and then I'll pour it into the old container. So pretty straightforward, pretty simple, something you can do at home, save yourself a few bucks on the service, and uh, yeah, we'll get to it. Alright, so first things first, I'll pop the bonnet, get a bit more light down there. And I'll show you, obviously I'll show you the oil filter change when we get to it, so. Bonnet is now open. Get your oil drain pan under here. I'll show you this when it's all draining. I'm probably gonna get oil all over my hand, which is about normal. Gee, that was tight. Come on, done fairly easy though. Okay, so, I'm wind up with your hand. You can wear gloves if you like. I'm not a glove type of person, so. I'm gonna do that and drain. It's easy as that. So we'll let that drain out. And we'll change out that washer. What's that someone stack some washers? What's going on here? That's not right. Right, eh? I'll show you guys that after too, so. Let's clean up this drum, drain plug for the moment. Kind of interesting when you get a car from someone and they've stacked washers. Pretty sure when we originally did the service on this, um, 
that we didn't have any, so we reused what was there. Well, I remember. So this is the drain plug. So there's no metal on it because it's got a magnetic end, which is good. But it had a double stacked washer, maybe? Looks double stacked to me. Don't know if you can really tell. But compared to the ones in the bag, which aren't, they're single compared to that. I would say it would be uh, been double stacked at some point, so one of those on your uh, drain plug when you put it back in and uh, should be right to go, not a problem. Well, I spoke too soon. <laughs> The wind caught it, and I'm getting oil everywhere. So, I'm gonna whack the drain plug in. So it's almost done, it's just a little bit wispy out now, but yeah, I got oil everywhere, I'm gonna have to degrease the, the cement afterwards. Didn't want that, so. Well, you know, so I haven't you do on a windy-ish day, I guess, so. She's still going. Very little bit, so. I'm not too fussed about that. Um, I've got to go for a bit longer. I'll put this rag down here so it doesn't get any worse. And um, yeah, I'll clean that up after. And then we'll, yeah, we'll slap a sump plug in and off we go. So, can't be too far off though. Just a little trickly now, so kind of hard to see. Maybe there. Anyway, we will get this sorted soon. Easy that, your sump plug washer on your sump plug. We'll stick that back in there and then I'll look at uh, taking out the oil filter uh, very shortly. And we will do that and put a new filter on. I'll go through that with you as well. Uh, then we'll top her up and, and done. Super, super simple. wind that on. Pretty straightforward. Grab your ratchet. Give her a tighten. Wipe any excess oil drips off. From there. All right, next messy bit. Man, damn, I really got oil everywhere, didn't I? Did a good job of it. All right, so now that I can see up there. All right, I'll move this over. To about there where I need it. And I'll grab the camera out and uh, change the oil filter. So with these, wind it on so it goes tight. Be careful where you're turning. There are injector pump lines down there. Jeez, she's tight, but it's coming. So with these filter strap ones, just move them around as you go. Eventually you get to a point where you can do it by hand. Reckon we're at that point now. Yep. So 
So I'll slide that off. These diesels get very hot. That bakes on. So now we'll grab my rag. I probably need some more. And I will uh, try and pop this into the rag. See, I might not have any oil come out. I don't know yet. I might get lucky. We'll see. Yeah. A little bit of oil come out. Not much though. So that's good. Hardly anything in that. So you'll see what I mean by uh, black oil in these oil filters. So this is a Z334 Ryko. Um, pretty straightforward filter. Um, if you wanted the man filter for this one, which is what I'm putting on it. So the man filter is a WP space 928 slash 80. Exactly the same type of filter, except this one has um, a fleece filter in it, so it's better for filtration. Um, these are used uh, mainly in the uh, industrial side of things. They're now making it for passenger vehicles. Yeah, these for all your heavy equipment generally. So I'll give this a wipe down. Let's just stop it running. Through. Very black and dirty. Just want a nice clean surface before you put your new filter on. Doesn't help when you're picking up oil. You got a really oversized rag to do this, but we'll sort it, we'll get there. There we go. So that stops that. I will degrease down there later, but pretty good, not bad. And you got a little bit of oil on that pipe there. Didn't really run anywhere, so can't complain with that at all. All right, I'm gonna grab some more rags and we'll, uh, I'll show you my process of putting the filter on and uh, what I do. All right, so with any new filter, I always put a uh, film of fresh oil around the seal of the diesel filter, or any filter for that matter, just works with all vehicles. Stops it baking on and it being impossible to get off. If I hadn't done that on my original service, uh, when I got this, I would have had this problem trying to get it off. Especially if you don't have a, uh, a filter removal tool, it makes it even harder. So I'm gonna go chuck that on now and um, then we'll put some oil in. Once this makes contact, quarter of a turn, no more. So I've made contact now. I can see the writing on the side here. It says don't use spanners to tighten it. And it says on there, quarter of a turn. So I'm gonna go around to here. That's it, that's all you need to do. Check it for leaks once you've started. Um, and yeah, now will be time to put some oil in. So I'll get that organized and I'll be back. All right, so the first thing I like to do, I like to pull out a dipstick on this. And um, obviously undo your oil filler cap, which I'll do, because I'm very hard to do this with one hand. And clean the dipstick at the same time. And then I'm gonna put in 9.3 liters of oil. And that's what this takes. So I'll do that, I'll set up my funnel, um, and I'll try and record it. And we'll see how we go. Um, yeah, so pretty straightforward on this one, not a problem. Um, yeah, once you, obviously once you hit your 9.3, start it, run it for say 30 seconds to cycle it all through, because you're gonna obviously have to fill up your filter and you have to top it up again. So um, yeah, do that and you'll be sweet, not a problem. So I do keep a rag down next to my auxiliary battery for the, for the oil. So wipe that off. I'll leave that out for the moment. 
So we're gonna get that full, so I'll chuck that up here. We'll undo the cap. I actually had to pre-loosen that, it was pretty tight. And grab my funnel. Now I've got a very minor amount of oil left. Look at that, beautiful. Very minor amount of oil left from the last service. I'm just gonna chuck that in now. And get dirt everywhere in my engine. Freaking great. Don't wanna do that. Be very careful pouring this in. Not a whole lot in that one. So we'll reuse that old jug to put the old oil in. Be very careful pouring this in. And we just keep pouring. This is a high flow funnel I'm using, of like $13, something like that. So check how much I've poured in. Be awkward with my shoulder. We'll have a look. All right, I've checked the oil again. All good. Start it up, hopefully the camera doesn't fall. So, start up, it's running, sounds good. Normal tick tick from a diesel. All the, uh, everything is, um, yeah, to spec. No leaks, so they're all good. And uh, yeah, that's as far as we need to go with this one, guys. So. Pretty straightforward and simple. If you've got the tools to do it, give it a shot. Um, it's just not difficult to do at all. Save yourself a few bucks getting it serviced. I've gone through all the tools here. Only thing I did have to get out was my uh, half inch socket set for the uh, filter strap tool. Um, yeah, other than that, all I'm gonna do now is just I'll give it a degrease off camera and uh, transfer the old oil into that container right there. So, done guys. Have a good one and I'll catch you next time.